Hi, welcome to my channel. Coming at you here from Tokyo. I've just checked into the room. So, anyway, what I thought I would talk about was using Louis Vuitton goods for travel. We'll see what we can do with the lighting here. It's, anyway, doing my best. I haven't got a tripod, I haven't got a ring light, but we have natural light. So I thought I'd just talk about the bags that I'm using. So it, it occurred to me that me coming here to Tokyo for a few days and I'm doing a mixture of work and pleasure and I looked and realised I'm quite Louis Vuitton heavy on this trip. So I thought I'd talk through the Louis Vuitton stuff I'm using and why. Let's just go for it. So firstly, for travelling, we have my on the go, which is the LV Jungle Collection from this fall winter. And um, I was using this basically as my carry-on bag to travel with. Really liked it because it's nice and flat here and it holds its structure quite well. When I had my suitcase, it just sat on top of it quite nicely and I could fit absolutely loads in there, you know, camera, two phones, iPad, some cosmetics, my liquids, you name it. So, yeah, it was really, really useful. I also put my jacket in there, my Kindle, a hell of a lot, everything I needed and room for more. Um, it now is sporting a Chanel box and that'll be it. Maybe an unboxing, little little Heathrow reward for me. Um, I forgot to use my Heathrow rewards card. Oh well. Um, so that's this great bag. Um, having the dual handles as well, so where you've either got the handle, the shoulder straps, or these handles to hold was really good as well. Especially when I'm, especially when you're stuck in a customs queue for nearly an hour. And your bag's heavy because you've put your leather jacket in it because it's like 29 degrees outside and you're hot and the aircon isn't cold enough. Then it's quite nice being able to flit from either shoulder to then hands as you want to. So that was that. Really great as a travel bag for having in the cabin. And it fitted up in the overhead lockers quite nicely. So that was that. Also on the handbag front then, I um, once I was back, in the hotel, I then switched for doing some sightseeing. I then switched to using my Pochette Matisse, and mine is in the reverse monogram. Uh, also, great bag, reasonably lightweight for its size. You can fit a ton in, really handy as well. Having this back pocket, I have my phone, which is now completely died, but I have my phone there, which is really handy for using GPS maps because I basically have walked from nearly one end of Tokyo to another slight exaggeration but I've been walking around about seven hours so using GPS. My PASMO card so I can use public transport so really nice and easy and then inside it's still big enough for purse essentials, sunglasses, um, spare battery and I also obviously have my camera in here as well so really great, loving that Loving the, the strap as well, which I want to use it in the evening. I can just take that off and just use it as a handheld if I don't want the shoulder strap. So, another good travel buddy. Loving that. And obviously what I didn't want to do, you can see the size difference, was do sightseeing, lugging this about. I say lugging because I'm because I've got my Chanel gift in there. Gift. Gift to me, from me. So, that's that. Um, what I was using as well in those was my mini pochette in the Christmas 2017 Animations Limited Edition and within this we have quite a lot hand sanitizer, blotting papers, a um, compact foundation which is a really good one, it's like bare minerals but it isn't, I can't for life remember what it is, I haven't slept for like days. Um, so what we now? We're Tuesday morning. I didn't sleep well Sunday night in the UK. Um, and yeah, it's just a strange journey. Anyway, hand cream from the body shop. 
my Chanel lip balm, which has a bit of colour to it as well. So my lips are nice and soft. At least that's hydrated. The rest of me shriveled up. By Terry eyeshadow thingy, but I didn't even use it. I couldn't be bothered. I was travelling. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Banish Colour Corrector and some Hermes perfume in my Travelo atomizer. So that was that, but basically your key travel essentials there. So I'll pop that back because I will want to use that when I'm on the go. <laughs> on the go. Anyway, and I had this in my on the go and also was able to just get this into my um, mini, into my pochette Matisse as well. So sleep deprivation's a bitch. Right. Then for within my main luggage, Cosmetics and toiletries. So, okay, it's got slightly squashed in the case. First off, let's go to the toiletries. So here I have in the monogram my toiletry 26, and this has pretty much all my toiletries in here. I think the only thing that I didn't put in here was my like cotton pads for my toner. So we've got in there smaller, but still a full-size deodorant, and then you can see a whole host of other stuff there. So we've got moisturiser, razor, in two bits. I always like to travel with it in its um, protective packaging, just in case. Hairband, cotton buds, uh, moisturiser, my Elemis, Kerastase hair oil in a miniature one, which is plastic, travel toothpaste, my travel size toner, which I just fill up, it's not a clinic one. My granules for my Drunk Elephant Slay Cleanser, in case I wanted to exfoliate. A free sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Clay Mask, amazing, get it. And then I also, I got paranoid about stuff leaking. It's happened to me before, you get to open your case the other end and stuff spilt everywhere. So that's everything out of this now. You can see it held quite a lot. The other essentials I'm missing are all in here. So I sealed it up just in case I had a leakage. And I can feel some gooiness. I'm wondering if I have had something leak from somewhere. But we've got a number of different like cleanser, eye serum, eye cream and something else there. Um, Eye makeup remover in a small thingy there. Drunk elephant um, sunshine drops. And again, that's like the travel size. Same with that, a marula oil by Drunk Elephant in the travel size. I'm wondering if this is what's leaked. A load of hair, basically Kerasase blow dry cream, which I put in a little pot. And we've got a Oh, this looks like it's leaked. A C Firma by Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. I'm getting this. Can't even remember what I put in there. Cleanser. That's the one. Cleanser. Conditioner. I do like my little travel pots because you don't always need that much. Yeah, I think it's just the hair stuff that leaked and shampoo. But it all stayed in the bag, so that's good. Nothing else is messy other than the plastic bag. So I've just got this free from Space NK when I ordered something. And it's just like bubble wrap inside. So that's that. So then to accompany that, I have all of my makeup. And to carry that in, I use my cosmetic pouch in GM size in the monogram. And you can see it's pretty full. But they still, they still give. I could have put more in. And in here, we have this much. So, Wilkinson Sword, no, sorry, Tweezer Man Tweezers. A Bella Sophia Luxury Palette um, by Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the eye palette. Really gorgeous. 
colours on that actually wears really nicely. A artist brush matte because particularly if I'm using something like that or I'm using my hourglass palette which is in my on the go, I will clean the brushes off between colours on that so it's really handy. Hair bubble. Oops, and I dropped hair clip. My hourglass dual ended brush, freshly cleaned. Again, I've cleaned all my brushes before coming away. My artist oval number six. Another artist brush, this is a round one which I tend to use for my eyeshadows. There. For more precise eyeshadow lines, if I go under the lash line or anything, and we have that artist brush there, it's the linear. Eyelash curlers. And you can see there, we're getting down to it. Final, final artist brush is the mini palm. Great travel brush that, really, really good. Can't recommend that enough. Jane Erdale, uh, which matches my foundation that I showed you earlier. Um, this is a Smooth Affair Primer. Chanel Mascara. A, oh, another hair bubble in plastic this time. A foundation, which I believe this is the Armani Power Fabric in shade 6. In a small little pot. Also in the same size pot, I've got this one, which is a Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clat sample in number 30. I was going to bin it and just keep the bottle, but I thought, well, I'll try it. Uh, Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury, and that's in the dark brown colour. I think it's called Supermodel. Two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here. Walk of Shame and Pillow Talk. So Walk of Shame is a really nice, slightly muted red if you are into that. An Hourglass in the colour, I think it's called, I don't, oh, No One Knows, which is a really pretty shade of pink. I might wear that tonight, actually. And then another hair bubble. Can't have too many hair bubbles. A... Becca Under Eye Highlighter in Light to Medium. And then we've got another, let's go through this stuff a bit quicker. We've got another um, Pillow Talk Superstar Lips. And then, yes, we're now empty, except for these, which is basically Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, Lip Cheat in Walk of Shame to match the lipsticks. And then I have my Touche Eclat High Cover. So that's not the one for under eye. Well, I've used it a little bit under eye, but it's not the highlighting one. It is the actual concealer. And then a Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in sort of like slight goldy colour. A Charlotte Tilbury Coal in the that vanilla nude colour for under the lash line to make your eyes look a bit bigger. Another Urban Decay in the colour Whiskey, which is just like a plain dark brown, so again it might go nicely with my Bella Sophia palette. And then a Marc Jacobs Silver Eyeliner, which I just like to use a little bit in the corners and just help to brighten the eye. So that's basically what I've got in there. I'll put it all back for I lose stuff. Um, yeah, so I think it's quite, I'm feeling like I've, I'm feeling like I've achieved, I'm feeling like I have travelled quite light, cosmetic wise, clothes I was a bit, mm. I didn't know what the weather was going to do, is it going to be hot, is it going to be wet, is it going to be cloudy, so I probably packed a bit more than I needed, but I would rather have more than I need than not enough, and at least, well, on the way out, hope it fitted in the case anyway, we'll see what happens on the way home, wishing me luck. We'll figure it out. When there's a will, there's a way. So yeah, I've zipped that all back in already. So yeah, really, really happy with these two as a, as a travel hero, like I say, for all my makeup and then all my toiletries. 
I can fit that in there, no problem. So yeah, Louis Vuitton, great for travel. Probably nothing new there. So my next video will probably be a Chanel unboxing um, as you buy a pair of shoes in the airport because, well, it would be a shame not to take advantage of duty free as I was travelling outside of Europe. So yeah, I will do that in another video, hopefully with better lighting. Sorry about the state of the room, it's a goddamn ugly room. I did not choose this hotel. Anyway, I'll see you soon.